Hey guys, uh, just a small little blog that I felt like doing because uh, a lot of stuff's going to be happening uh, in the future for me, so it's probably going to slow down my video production. Not like it's taken a sun stop or anything, which it has, uh, but I'll get to that. Uh, first most shameless advertising of my video is I have uploaded a new YouTube poop music video. Uh, Gentilville, I'm personally very happy with this, and I hope other people are happy with it. Uh, second of all is, um, the next part of my Half-Life 1 Let's Play, which kind of screwed itself over because of frame rate issues. I don't know how to fix that, so I'm probably going to try again a little bit later, but a bit earlier on. Um, and the third one is my first ever animation on 3D Studio Max, which was fun, 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 and though it said, uh, that I can't use it for commercial things, I'm guessing that means, uh, making money off it, because I certainly am not going to make money off that, because, yeah. And if not, well, I hope to God that 3D Studio Max are going to tell me that I'm not meant to, so I can just take the video down. I mean, it's educational purpose. I kind of need feedback. Anyway, uh, now for the middle segment. Normally, I pro talk about a specific thing for a bit, but uh, I think I'll keep it... I think I'll be a bit more, uh, whatchamacallit, spread out, as you will. Uh, let's, stick, let's go with Sopa and... Uh, Starcraft 2. First with Sopa. Uh, this one's gonna be pretty short. Uh, no, I do not support its current version. I'm, I'm like Epic and Catcon and such, I can see the point of it. But it's not done in a good way. You know, it's not gonna be in a way that's gonna benefit, because, uh, I think I've said it several times before, I'm studying video game development at university, I intend to go into video game development, so Sopa will affect me if I do become an indie developer or a normal developer. Uh, and I'm also surprised that my no copyright law in the universe is going to stop me, has gotten, I think it's got nearly 5,000 views now, and maybe it already has, I haven't checked. Uh... You know, and mainly because of SOPA. I mean, Reddit used it, uh, Sonic Stadium used it. I mean, it's just like, I don't know how to feel like that. Feel honoured that it's being used for SOPA. Or feel cheated because SOPA is the only reason that video has gotten its viewers. I don't know. Uh, next one is StarCraft 2. Uh, well, to be exact, StarCraft 2 Team Games. I'm not going to lie, they're probably the most unbalanced games I've ever played. I mean, it's quite literally, uh, StarCraft players know the whole mass carry equals instant win theory. Well, mass void rays equals instant win is a definite truth, and in team games, I... Literally, every single game I play, it's always Mass Void Race bound for the Protoss. Very rarely is it Colossus or Stalkers or High Templar. I, I've only seen, like, I must have played a good 23 matches last night, and I only saw one game, because all of them had at least one Protoss in them. Only one game had the guy go Templar. It was either DT rushing or cannon rushing, or void ray spam, or on the very occasional one, it's, uh, it was Stalker Colossus. And the one thing that annoys me is that on the back of the StarCraft 2, um, box, it says you're always gonna get a fair fight. No! The, the, the matchmaking system is fucked up beyond belief, at least in the team games, because I ended up playing a game, I'm, I'm, I'm in Bronze League, uh, it was a Bronze League, me, uh, a Silver League, another Silver League, and a Gold League against three Platinums and two Diamonds. No, not three, not three Platinums. Two Platinums and two Diamonds. And uh, all I gotta say is, um, how is that fair? To be honest, I think Blizzard could easily fix that problem by basing it on your... Uh, if you, if you go into team games, obviously, it bases it off your uh, team average based off the previous ones. So say, like, if you go on 2v2, it's going to base it off your 2v2 
score and your 1v1 score and you basically average it out. 3v3, so you're 3v3, 2v2, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Because as the teams get bigger, it just doesn't... It doesn't balance out, I guess. Like, um... I don't know. I always seem to... Nine times out of ten, the only time we win is because we rush. Not because of bad tactics. I mean, the... I, I even faced a uh, really sore teammate. It was four Protoss against two Zerg uh, and uh, two Terran. I'm trying to remember clearly. And I was one of the Zerg. And uh, I decided to triple expand. I told them, right guys, I've got 15,000 gas. Give me 1,000 minerals, I'll be able to get 15 muters before they get void rays. They didn't, and by the time I got 15 uh, muters, uh, three of the Protoss players had uh, amassed, like, I think a combined total of about 30 or 40 void rays. And at that point, you can't beat that many void rays. You, unless you have hundreds of uh, investors and you're godly with fungal growths, you're not going to be able to win against that. And to stop it all off, they said that I was useless, in fact both Zerg players were useless, and proceeded to kill our hatcheries, and it's a thing. I still had well in excess of about 20 lava, again due to the fact that I didn't have enough minerals and such, and... You know, they killed the hatchery, which means I couldn't produce any more lava, which means I couldn't produce any corruptors or infestors, because I was getting an infestation pit up. And uh, in the end, we lost the game. But the thing is, they said I wasn't doing anything, right? I was on free bases. I had 60 drones. I, at one point, had well over 25 muters. These guys had only one base... And if I remember correctly, their highest army was three tanks, ten marines, and three marauders. And the other team very much of the same, except uh, they had like four or five vikings with them, and about double the marines. But the point is, they can't really say that I'm doing nothing when it's so obviously they weren't. Because, you know, we scouted them, and it said that, and it showed that they were fast expanding, all of them. So they could have either rushed them, uh, or they could have expanded or double expanded like I did. Uh, but, yeah, just to sum it all up as well, uh, people will probably be saying, well, play StarCraft 1 and then you can deal with that kind of stuff. StarCraft 2 and StarCraft Brood War are two massively different games. StarCraft 2 is still going through its balancing phase, and StarCraft Brood War... It's taken Blizzard 10 years, but they've balanced it, and uh, the player's skill between Brood War and StarCraft 2 is just so far out there, like, a, a high diamond play would probably only be like a, um, whatever, StarCraft 1's ICC Corp equivalent of a uh, silver player is. So, I can't really go to Brood War knowing that I'm gonna get my ass kicked. And also, as I said, they're two drastically different games. There is... The only difference is just the word StarCraft on them. But, uh, I've been ranting a bit too long now. Uh, I'm gonna try and get this within ten minutes. So, for the last minute, just basically... There's gonna be a list of things I have planned for next month, and that's really it. So, yeah. <laughs>